am up, man. I'm up. <laughs> what can I say? I've had a really lazy day. I was out really late last night, and it is already one o'clock the goal for today man is coming out here with my lazy ass at 1 p.m already i need to get enough stuff done to actually put a video together for you guys today same day so yeah starting at 1 p.m kind of making it a little hard but we all know i got plenty enough work that needs to be done out here All right, I got as much dirt as I think that I'm gonna be able to scavenge from my backyard um, up here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and kind of compact it with the Suburban. Um, I really do want to make it over there to that guy's house where we got that gravel from. I think that'd be a dope ass idea to go over there and just get, honestly, all of that gravel, dude. Because I really want to do like a gravel kind of like driveway, if you will, like coming up to this. So I kind of like traced out like a line right here. It's all crooked as shit, but it's just to give me kind of visual. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but there's kind of a line that comes from the gate and rounds around the tree and then goes up to here. And then from there, I would like to come to about this point and do the same thing. Just do a line that kind of rounds over to the booth of the door. Then from this side of the gate, just coming straight to the booth of the door, you know what I mean? So it'd be kind of like just a big gravel area. look pretty good man i definitely need some more material right here you know what i'm saying because that's quite a ways up the suburban can definitely handle it but i know it's going to be difficult trying to get a lowered car up that yeah i got it pretty well compressed down i'm just going back and forth and kind of raking it and smoothing it out and then compressing it because some areas are just too much of a like hump up you know what i'm saying I'm trying to get it to be a little bit more gradual really it needs to be like way out here but We'll get there one day. Well, the biggest and heaviest vehicle that I have fits up here with no problem and drove on this concrete probably a hundred times. <laughs> Anyhow, I mean, we're going to organize all this stuff and get all this out of our way, of course. I want to put a workbench up here. Um, the idea is for obviously all the tools to be right inside the door in there. Originally, I was thinking about bringing my toolbox and everything out here, but it'd be better for it to be indoors where I could lock it all up. You know what I mean? Yeah, just imagine if all this wasn't here and I needed to work on the Suburban. Like, look how much freaking room we have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I could bring it all the way over here, or all the way over to that side, and still have plenty of room to be able to work on something else, you know? And like I said, this is the biggest vehicle I've got. So, anyhow, I think we did some good here. Kind of made a little bit of a ramp. I mean, this is going to be good enough for now, bro. Like, believe me, I wish I had some more dirt right now, at least, to get this a little bit more even and bring it out a little further. Like I said, we'll get there. Just got to keep working, dude. Just got to keep working. Whenever there's things like this that you want to do um, and, you don't ne and you can't necessarily afford it at the moment, you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep working and work towards your goals. And 
my goal right now is to make my work area a lot nicer and at the same time I'm improving my house because I want to get it more presentable back here to where it just it looks nicer you know what I'm saying I mean not only for videos or working on cars but also for entertaining like if I ever want to have family over for a barbecue or something I want to make a nice area you know to where we can sit down and barbecue and here's something you guys don't know about me I actually really like plants bro I love plants I would love to have an area where I just have a shitload of plants hanging and sitting on the little decorative freaking stands and stuff and I would love to put some kind of like little waterfall you know what I'm saying in like a sitting area where you have plants and a little waterfall in the corner maybe with some little fish in there dude nothing is more calming than just coming out kicking your feet up and relaxing whenever the weather is nice and having the sound of like flowing water trinkling and stuff like dude I need an area like that, you know what I'm saying? All right, just got done getting this place all raked up, man. I hope that the trash man's gonna be able to pick this damn trash can up. Cause bro, I can barely even lean this son of a bitch. What's up, Toby? You wanna tell everybody hi? Tell everybody hi. Say what's up, people? What's going on? What up, people? Anyhow, I'm trying to get all the little final touches and stuff done out here. I'm really wanting to get started on working on the damn S10. So we got the backyard looking so good, and then we made just like a huge mess doing the concrete. All right, I am almost done, man. I just got to get all this all swept up, dude. All this debris and dirt and yada yada. Then, we could finally move a vehicle up here. All right, got this all swept up, man. Now, we lost sunlight already. I guess that's what I get for starting my day at 1 p.m., right? Anyhow, I'm probably going to pressure wash all this tomorrow. I just don't feel like getting it all soaking wet right now. Uh, this engine and trans, I need to get out to the parts corner. And that is a bare K24 block. Which, honestly, I should probably just sell that because... By the time I ever do anything with it, it's probably going to get rusted to shit. More than likely going to put that back in the garage where it was. But then that'll free up this open spot. That's where I'm going to put my LS at for now because we are going to be tearing into this thing here pretty soon. And then this will pretty much be clutter free. We'll just have engines all over here, which there's really nothing I can do about that. This is just going to have to be the engine wall, bro, because there's, there's nowhere else to put them. All right, guys, finally got the S10 up here. And this really goes to show you how much more room that we have to work on stuff back here than what we had in the front. I mean, because, dude, look how much room I have in front of this. <laughs> There's room on both sides. Like, I could still scoot over more if I needed to, but I don't need to. That's what's dope, dude. I have all this space. I mean, of course, it's going to be so much better whenever we get it covered and we get all those lights out here, like what we have out front. But for the time being, I'm just stoked to be able to have more space. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you come back here and look at the old concrete versus the new concrete, like how big that area is now, looking at that, bro, I don't even know how it is I was able to handle having such a a small little porch <laughs> like look just barely the front tires is on that old slab of concrete hey anyway, i'm gonna get cracking on working on this thing tomorrow um that's kind of what my point was today was to get all this little final stuff kind of cleaned up and put away um get the truck up here where i'm capable of working on it as you guys know we have a lot of stuff we have to do to that damn thing and i'm gonna get going on it tomorrow but you're not gonna see that video until tuesday Tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to actually share with you guys a video that I posted on Patreon a long time ago, and that is revealing the secret vehicle that is hiding inside of the spray booth right now. Finally, right? <laughs> and if you're wondering why uh, Braven and I didn't do that race today, um, he had a side job he had to go do to go help a guy swap his engine out of his car. So he's literally been gone all day long. So that's the reason why we didn't get that done. But it's coming. Hell, we might do it tonight night peace this is the video after the video because i need like another 30 seconds to make my video 10 minutes long oh my god <laughs> <laughs> the hell where are you at all day man i told them you were afraid to run the single cam that's why you took off man no i'm not making money making excuses dude making excuses i was making money i'm kidding what are you doing uh wiring up my system right now 
Your system? Yeah, my system. Oh shit, look at you, bro. Looking all clean and shit. Did you get the uh, the remote wire ran? Yeah, the remote wires ran. Uh, the main, uh, the uh, RCAs are ran. The main power wires ran. So now the only thing I need to connect is the ground wire back there, then the um, main power there, then just connect the amp to the subwoofer and then test it out. Sick. Yep. It's Hell yeah. Just need the vibration in the passenger seat, you know what I mean? All right, we'll give you guys an update on Braven's freaking mad sick stereo system the other day. I just needed a little, a little 30 second clip little to finish my video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at all the freaking room for festivities, my friend. Dude, imagine, imagine in the driveway being able to work on your truck and have the S10 next to you and have enough room to actually open your doors all the way like that. It's actually wild. I'm actually enjoying the spot right here. As soon as we get lights all the way above it. Yeah, I'm dude. Not about so freaking sick. Anyhow, peace out, Rugged. Peace out.